I am Caitlin Stephan, and I want to give you guys a word. This is going to be, uh, this is going to reach for those it's for, okay? To the body, okay, we are going to be feeling a more, another spiritual uh, surge of bullshit. Can I say it that way? I want to read you guys some scripture and um, just at least one or two verses, okay? And I and I just opened it right to this, so this is this is going to help for the the message that I was trying to land as far as the storm brewing in, okay? And this is gonna this is just it is what it is, chosen ones. This is it, okay? And stand strong in this because this is what we're here for. This is why we're set aside. This is why we're alone. This is why we go through things that other people never get to experience in this life. And that may be um, agony. That may be just high level joy and happiness, but to the powers that be, okay, we're the awakened ones. We see the slavery that we became. We're, it makes you a target, all right? So Jesus said, truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel who will not receive a hundredfold. Now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and land with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last first. And then if we keep going, okay. For even the son of man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as ransom for many. That's why you've had to go through everything you had to go through. And, and with that heart that you have in order to, to be the, the walking sacrament that you are. And it's for we we were gonna we we're gonna receive a hundredfold not not just here but with eternal life immortality everything that we have been through as a body just the past year the knowledge the ones that are that what can be shaken is being shaken just know that we have to endure till the end and one thing that I want to just give a a warning for is don't allow your old that old familiar spirit to, to be lingering around right now and it's going to be very challenging for you because of you the things you know the fact that there's deaf and blind and dumb ears everywhere you look and you get persecuted for trying to awaken people from the matrix they will do whatever it takes to protect themselves to be awakened to the truth that yeah we yeah it is what it is those you guys that know the whole metaphor of Christ you know the red pill you know all of that hopefully you guys reach this message and just know that you are the walking sacrament that this world needs right now and it's important that you if, if that there alone will keep you strong in the darkest nights like it did myself that there was so many other lives attached to my suffering. We have to get good at that long suffering, guys. And it's nights like these where you want, you feel like you want to do something, but there's literally nothing that sparks your interest. You could have, it don't, mammon, it, it does not matter. We are not of this world. We are here to elevate it. And it can be painful because your carnal mind is battling what your soul already knows through the programming, through just the ways of the world, your insecurities, your shortcomings, whatever the world wants to call it. When actually it wasn't a shortcoming, it was you experiencing these certain things to see if you'd make it. And glory to God, you did. If you've made it this far to the message, you are going to make it the rest of the way until it is your time to go. And a lot of us will be martyred, but we do that honorably with, with honors. I love you guys, okay? I'm not going to stay on here long. Um, I'm getting ready to make a Patreon. You guys can um, hit me up over there. And that's where the really in-depth messages are going to be. Um, I don't want to throw my pearls to just anybody. You know what I mean? Because this stuff is going to be for those that I'm assigned to. For those that the Most High God has called. Me and Him are, are building up into leaders for Him. And it's the one that the world would never have picked. And that's why I do what I do. And that's why I do it the way I do it. And I love you guys. Okay, trust what's going on in you. And look, when it's time to be still, just be still.
And I know it can be hard, but that's why you got videos like these to tune into. But when you get to a point where the videos don't work anymore and you're kind of just lost for words, there's really nothing for you that can feed you. That's when, you know, you're undergoing a thick attack and find a good hobby and just ask God to bless your hands with whatever. I ask God to, that he allows your hand, everything you touch turns to gold. You hear me? And you got to do that with confidence. Wake up tomorrow and command your day. Command your night. You're great. You're a genius. You're, you're so brilliant and you, you don't even know it. That's what that's what you, that's the catch 22 of the chosen one. And it's because nobody else confirmed it for you. You don't need them to anymore, guys. The most high God did. And he's, he's showing you like a mirror with everything you do. And it's mind blowing because we're such humble creatures. But don't be so humble to the point where you're not even seeing your own worth and it, uh, you start destroying your own self because God knows, God knows this is not easy. And he knows we can destroy our own selves because of the, the non-belonging. We do not belong here. Or maybe we do. Either way, we're outnumbered. Okay? Stay deep-rooted in God right now, guys. And um, try to build a solid community that's, like I said, that's not in your community, if need be, that you can reach out to when you do feel these spiritual attacks. Somebody that can just genuinely, you know have mutual experiences. I love you guys. Stay up.